In this video, I will be providing you with a little more construction math, and uh, we're going to figure out the ratio, the percentage, and the degrees at which something like this might be. Now, you could use this for driveways, sidewalks, um, anything actually where you need to figure out what these, what the slope would be in a couple of different forms. And the most common form of uh, slope you're going to be dealing with will be a ratio, and that is because it's the easiest to figure out. So most of the time, uh, your building codes and stuff like that are going to be related to that. You're not going to have to figure out the percentage or the degrees. But either way, we will take it here and give it a shot and see if it makes sense to you. So here we are starting out with a level perfectly flat piece of concrete and uh, ground. And we are simply going to raise it two inches and use this to do a little bit of math or uh, provide you with a couple of formulas. And again, I'm going to walk you through everything with the calculator. I know a lot of times I find on the internet where they have a formula or they tell you how to do it and you're like, okay, you know, what buttons do I push on the calculator? Well, here I will show you on this particular calculator. In our first example, we are going to be um, working with the ratio formula. And the first thing you're going to need to do will be to convert the units of measurement to the same. So here we have four feet and uh, two inches. We need to convert either this to inches or this one to feet. We've got to work with the same units of measurement for a ratio. So we are going to take four feet and convert it into inches. There are 12 inches in a foot. We're going to multiply 4 times 12 gives us 48. And then we are going to divide it by a common number. And of course 2 uh, divides into 4 foot, so we're going to use that. But we're going to need to divide both the 48 and the 2 to get our ratio. 48 divided by 2 equals 24. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. The ratio for this would be 1 in 24. 1 to 24. So for every 24 um, units, which would be inches, it's going to rise 1 inch. And this should make sense to you because 24 is half of 48. And if we have a 2 inch overall rise, uh, at the end, then in the very middle, we should have half of this number, which would be one inch. Now, this was an easy, easy do here. Let's go ahead and bring in our calculator. And, uh, and now we're going to take a number that doesn't really divide evenly uh, into itself. So we're going to have 50 inches instead of 48. And three, we're going to go up three inches instead of two use the same formula here and we're going to come up with one in um, one as a ratio of 1 to 16.66. Now when I'm when I'm dividing these I'm just simply going to put 50 in divide it by 3. There's our number 16.66. For those of you who aren't familiar with multiplying and dividing and I do understand a lot of times I make these videos and I lose people because I'm assuming they know how to do something and I irritate other people who think that everybody should know how to do something. So meeting you halfway in the middle there. And our next one here, next example, what if we had 11, replace the number 48 by 11 and then 2 and we can see that we have an odd and an even number here and then divide these numbers up. And we have 5.5. The ratio, of course, would be 1 to 5.5. And, of course, the 5.5, since that's half of 11, and um, our ratio is 1 instead of 2, we, this kind of makes sense. It goes back to that same thing I just said about uh, in the middle here. If we, this was 11 inches, then it would be in the center it would be 5.5 would be our length. So for every 5.5, the length of the run of 5.5 units, and in our case, we'd be dealing with inches, 
it would go up one inch and then since that would be at the end two inches now if this number changed to three then this number would be half of three 1.5 for that for that ratio so you know if it was 11 and 3 it might get a little more confusing because now you're dealing with two decimals but that's just the way it is in uh, figuring out the math so like I said most ratios are going to be you're going to use ratios but they're going to be even numbers you know 1 in 24 1 in 12 um, for roofs you might have 3 in 12 5 and 12 stuff like that but the ratio is going to be our most common number used in construction. Now let's take a look at how to create a percentage, convert the rise and run to the same units, divide the rise by the run. So here we're going to have 2 divided by 48 and it's going to give us 0 0.0166. We can either move the decimal point over two places to the right um, one, two, we can see here how I moved it over, or you can simply multiply this number by a hundred to get a 4.166 percent. So let's go ahead and do the math on this. Two divided into 48 equals 0 0.0416. And then we can simply just move the decimal point over two places. Each um, place that you move it over is a um, well I don't want to say it's it would be a tenth tenth hundred thousandth um, ten thousandth something like that but if that's too complicated for you this isn't that difficult take this number multiply it times 100 and you're going to get 4.166 which would be the percentage of that and uh, just kind of wanted to give you an idea what a percentage would look like in a slope so if we have a hundred units here and a hundred units here and I had a line going from here to here this would be a 100 percent slope but a 100 percent slope is going to be a 45 degree angle so this is where or, or the ratio would of course be one to one you would have a one to one ratio for every one unit you go over it goes up one unit so if you went over a hundred units um, it would go up a hundred units so that give you a one to one ratio so just kind of wanted to draw a square in here to give you an idea if I was to um, divide this up I have this divided up into four sections if we divide four into a hundred we have 25 um, this would be 25 50 and 75 and then a hundred so if I had a line going from here to here and this represented my my slope and I wanted to know what percent that slope would be not the degrees of that slope but the percent then um, I would just simply do the same thing here divide 25 divided by 100 0.25 move the decimal point over and I got 25 percent so a line from here to here would be 50 percent and a line from here would be 75 percent and it wouldn't be hard to do the angles on this so if I had an angle coming up to here uh, this would be 40 a 45 degree angle coming up to here this would be a 22 and a half degree angle half half of the measurement so that would uh, if that makes any sense but now let's go ahead and take a look at the degrees now degrees are based off of a circle and a circle has 360 degrees in it or 490 degree units so if we were to go from the center of the circle to um, straight across horizontally and then straight up vertically we're going to have a 90 degree angle if we have a square in the center of the circle and this is our center point this is going to be 490 degree units um, for the square so if I was to come off of the center up to here this would be a 45 degree angle so I just wanted to give you an idea of what the difference is between the percentages and the degrees so let's go ahead and get out our calculator and take a look at the degrees now this is going to take a little more uh, math here to figure out the degrees not that complicated but it is sometimes to find the inverse tangent on the calculator and you're simply going to take the um, basically the percentage number 2 divided by 48 
2 divided by 48 equals 0 0.0416. We did this in the last when we were working on percentages. Now the only difference here is we've got to find the inverse um, tangent key and that's going to be located on this particular calculator. And here's the tangent but we need to click on this to get to the negative or the inverse tangent. And once I click on this, it's going to give me the degrees of that particular slope, 2.38, or you could uh, round it off to 2.39, since that is a 5. So that's it for this video. I hope it makes sense. I'm not going to go into a lot on the degrees. You know, like I said, the ratio formula is, is the one you're going to use the most in construction. But by now, you should have a pretty good idea what the difference is between degrees, a ratio, and a percent or a percentage.